how to create storybooks for kids using AI. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create your very own children's storybooks using AI. Yep, even if you've never written a story before. And the best part? We're going to publish the book on Amazon KDP so you can share it with the world or even sell it. All right, let's dive in. There are quite a few different tools out there that you can use to create storybooks using AI. One popular option is a platform called toolbaz.com. And there are others too, like Deep Story or even ChatGPT, which is perfect for brainstorming fun story ideas or even writing out entire short stories from scratch. Once you've got your story content created, you can start thinking about how to format it and turn it into an actual book. Now, if we head over to Amazon and search for something like children's short storybooks, you'll see tons of examples to get inspiration from. Take a look at these five-minute storybooks, for example. They're packed with quick, engaging stories that are perfect for bedtime. Some of them even include over 50 different tales and fables in a single volume. If you scroll through the listings, you'll notice that many of these books follow a similar format. They group several short stories into one book, often with colorful illustrations and a simple layout that's super kid-friendly. This is a great structure to follow when you're putting together your own book. As you scroll through Amazon, you'll notice plenty of other great examples of storybooks made for kids. These listings also give you a little preview of what the inside of the book looks like, how the pages are laid out, how the illustrations are styled, and the overall vibe of the book. Now keep in mind, these are fully published physical books. But for our purposes, we're going to keep it digital and focus on creating a Kindle ebook using KDP, which makes it super easy to get your storybook out there for readers. For instance, here that's got a total of 484 pages, and it's designed for children aged 2 to 5. That's a lot of content. It's great to see what kind of structure works well for that age group, so we can create something similar, just more manageable and tailored to what you want to offer. Another example that really stands out is this massive storybook that includes 365 different stories, basically one for every day of the year. Some include short tales and rhymes that take only five minutes to read, making them perfect for quick story time before bed or during quiet time. These books are a great reference point because they show how flexible the format can be. You can go with a theme, mix short and long stories, or even add some rhymes and poems. So, with that inspiration in mind, let's dive into the fun part, creating your own AI-powered storybook. All right, so for this tutorial, we're going to use this option right here, Toolbass. I chose it because it's completely free to use, which is great when you're just getting started, and it gives you the flexibility to switch between different AI models. You can try out Gemini, OpenAI's ChatGPT, DeepSeek, and a bunch of other engines, depending on what kind of results you're looking for. It's nice to have options, especially if one AI gives you a story that's too complex or not quite the right tone for kids. Let's go ahead and try creating our first story. I'm going to switch the AI engine to ChatGPT, since it usually generates stories in a softer, more kid-friendly voice. Then we'll click on the advanced options to customize things a bit more. This is where you can add details about your characters, like their names, personalities, or special traits, though that's totally optional. Next, we get to pick the story length. I'm going with medium, so the story isn't too long or too short. Just the right size to hold a young child's attention. You can also choose a genre here. Drama, comedy, action, fantasy, whatever suits your theme. For this demo, we'll go with something light and magical. Now let's set the age group. I'll pick the three to six year old range because it's a sweet spot for bedtime stories and they love imaginative tales with animals, fairies, or talking objects. Under format, I'll go with fable since those usually come with a fun little life lesson at the end, which is perfect for young kids. There's also a prompt box where you can type in a quick idea to kick off the story. By clicking on Get Example, it gives one random example. So instead, we'll keep things playful. I'm switching over to DeepSeek and ChatGPT to brainstorm a few gentler story ideas. Things like Abella the Bunny's Lost Slipper or The Bear Who Couldn't Sleep. Now we're starting to see some really cute and fun options come in, exactly what we're looking for. Once I had a few story ideas generated, I decided to ask the AI to make them a bit longer. 
somewhere around three to four minutes in reading time. That way, the stories are short enough to hold a child's attention, but still long enough to feel like a complete little adventure. It also makes them perfect for bedtime. Whether kids are reading them on their own or listening as their parents read aloud to help them wind down and drift off to sleep. So here's an example of one of the stories that came out. It's called Benny Bear's Big Sleepy Adventure. It begins with a little bear named Benny, soft and round, who had a big, fun day, playing tag with squirrels, dancing in leaves, and helping mama with berries. But when bedtime came, Benny said, I'm not sleepy. Mama smiled and tucked him in. Close your eyes, she whispered, and let me tell you a story. She told him about a brave little bear who floated on a cloud boat across the nighty night river. He passed sleepy shores where turtles sang and whales puffed starry bubbles. Then he met the dream keeper, who gave him a magical dream filled with marshmallow mountains and jelly bean trees. As mama told the tale, Benny's eyes got heavy, and soon he was fast asleep already floating to dreamland in his very own cloud boat. Stories like this one show how creative AI tools can be. Of course, you can use this particular story generator inside the Toolbaz platform, but you're not limited to just that. Let's go ahead and generate this story and see what the tool comes up with. Write the story title in the field and its character down in character field. As you explore the tool a bit more, you'll notice it comes packed with tons of extra features and content creation options. For example, besides just generating children's stories, it also includes tools for creating articles, AI-generated blog posts, metadata, and more. It's pretty versatile, and that makes it a fantastic resource if you're working on multiple types of content, not just storybooks. Now, here's the story that the AI generated for me. This is slightly longer, it's got a wholesome vibe that's perfect for young readers, and I think it's definitely one we can use. If you like this story too, you can simply copy it and use it in your book. One of the great things I love about this tool base is that there are no usage limits. Why you can create as many stories as you want, completely for free. You don't even need to register or create an account. That kind of freedom is really helpful, especially if you're just starting out or testing the waters with different story ideas. Now, once you've got your story written out and you're happy with it, the next step is to start thinking about turning it into a fully illustrated picture book. That means we're going to need some artwork to go along with the story. You can do that by copying the text and using AI tools to generate illustrations or entire art books based on your story. I'll go ahead and copy this story now so we can use it in our design process. And just a heads up, while there are AI tools that can generate book covers too, i found that sometimes the AI-generated covers aren't exactly the most polished or professional looking. Now let's talk about making your book visually appealing. Because let's be honest, kids love colorful pages and eye-catching illustrations. To do that, we're going to use some really easy and beginner-friendly tools. One of the first options I'd recommend is Canva. But if you're looking for something more advanced or AI-driven when it comes to generating illustrations, there's a really cool platform called Recraft.ai. It's a free AI illustration tool that's designed specifically for generating creative images, including children's book illustrations. When you head over to their website, you'll notice that the illustrations have a polished, professional look that's actually perfect for storybooks. So let's walk through how to get started with Recraft. First, you need to sign up for a free account. It's quick and easy. Finally, it'll prompt you to pick a plan, and for now, we'll go with the free plan, which still gives you access to a lot of great features without needing to upgrade. Once you're in, you'll see a sample prompt like, General Portrait of a Young Woman, New Shot with a Shadow, just to show you the kind of results the AI can generate. You can replace that prompt with something more specific to your story, like a fluffy cloud flying over a colorful meadow with a rainbow in the background, or a brave little bear crossing a wooden bridge in a magical forest. It's really all about being creative with your prompts, so the AI can generate artwork that matches the tone and characters of your story. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that prompt and replace it with something more aligned with our story. Once we've entered our own custom prompt, like something related to a little bear trying to find its way home, the AI gets to work and starts generating the image. And I've got to say, the result it came up with actually looks pretty awesome. 
We've got our adorable Teddy, and the expression on its face really matches that whole, how will I get home, kind of vibe. It's honestly kind of heartwarming. This is the kind of visual that will really pull young readers into the story. Now, if we look over on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a bunch of style options to customize your image even further. This is where the real fun begins. Recraft gives you a range of artistic styles you can experiment with. You've got options like vector art, motion blur, retro, pop art, bold, and even hand-drawn, which is one of my personal favorites for kids' books. Each of these styles gives the illustration a totally different look and feel. For something soft and whimsical, like the teddy bear story, I'd go with the hand-drawn style. It just gives everything a cozy, bedtime story sort of charm. So let's go ahead and choose that one. Also, don't forget to check the box that says, Avoid Text and Image. That way, the AI knows not to include any random words or letters in your picture, which is super important when you're planning to add your own story text on top later or format it inside a book layout. Now over here, we can also play around with negative prompts, which basically help fine-tune the results by telling the AI what you don't want to see in the image. That way, we avoid things like awkward faces, random shapes, or stuff that just doesn't belong in a children's book illustration. I'm going to adjust the main prompt a little as well, just to make sure it's clear and focused on what we're imagining for the scene. All right, that looks good now. So let's go ahead and click on Recraft and see what it comes up with. Okay, now this is more like it. You can already see the improvements in the visuals. Some of these images look fantastic. They really capture that soft storybook charm we're going for. All right, so now that we've got that image sorted, Let's go ahead and generate one more version, just one last time, because honestly, the results so far have been really impressive. I especially liked that previous one. It had such a warm and cozy look, perfect for bedtime stories. And here we go, it's given us another variation, slightly different, but still super cute. This one actually looks pretty great too. On second thought, maybe I'll just leave it as it is for now. Sometimes less tweaking is more. Now, between the different cover versions we've seen so far, I still really love that first one. It just had this perfect blend of color and warmth. So yeah, we can absolutely use this one for our book. Once you're happy with the cover, go ahead and click on Export at the top right. From there, choose either PNG or JPEG format. I usually go with PNG for higher quality, but JPEG works fine too if you're trying to keep the file size smaller. Let's download it now. And once that's done, it's time to head back over to KDP. That's Kindle Direct Publishing, where we'll actually publish the book. So open up kdp.amazon.com and log into your account. If you don't already have one, no worries. It's super easy to set up. You can sign up using your existing Amazon account, and it only takes a minute or two to get started. Since I already have an account, I'll just log in. Once you're inside the KDP dashboard, it's pretty straightforward from here. You'll see a big button labeled Create. Click on that to begin the publishing process. Next, you'll see some publishing options. KDP gives you the ability to publish in multiple formats, Kindle, eBook, paperback, and even hardcover. For now, let's go ahead and choose Kindle eBook since we're focusing on creating a digital version first. Once you click that, it'll take you to the book setup page where we'll start filling in the details like the book title, description, and uploading our manuscript and cover. Now at this point, all you need to do is fill in the required details, like your book's title, subtitle, if you have one, and your name as the author. If your book is part of a series, you can also include the series title and volume number. You'll also want to add a book description. This is what people will see on your book's Amazon page, so make it engaging and informative. Then, move on to the Publishing Rights section and choose whether it's your own original work or public domain. After that, it's just a matter of going step by step. Fill in everything as required, and when you get to the cover section, simply upload the one we just designed together. Next, you'll head over to the ebook content tab. This is where you'll upload your manuscript, whether it's in Word or PDF format, and preview how it'll look on Kindle. After that, click through to Pricing, where you can set your book's price, royalty options, and the regions you want to sell in. And that's pretty much it. Once you've completed all the steps, go ahead and hit Publish. 
After a short review period by Amazon, your storybook will go live and be available for readers across the world. So that's how you can easily create and publish children's storybooks using AI tools. From writing the story to designing the cover and finally getting it live on Kindle. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more tech tips. Thanks so much for watching.